Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game where this week we head to US Bank Stadium in Minneapolis for another round of what will be the 250 East, I believe, championship and then of course the main game in the 450s. So last time out we grabbed a double win in Seattle. The track was really good to us actually. We had a lot of pace there so hopefully we can continue that form and extend our lead in the 450 category. Alright. Nothing much else to say. We'll jump straight into the 250 East first heat and hopefully get off to a good start on the night. Here comes another gate drop. This time, it will start the second 250 heat race of the day, where once again, only the first nine riders will earn that highly coveted ticket straight to the main event. All right, here we are. Time for heat one in the fourth. Uh, sorry, 250 East category. Um, usually I'd take that inside line, but again, I don't want to be hit, heading towards those big blocks, so I'm going to choose the Thor gate. <laughs> yeah, no, we managed to qualify on pole once again, this time by 1.8 seconds. Uh, I do like this sort of US Bank Stadium track here in Minneapolis, that sort of surface is really grippy the bike feels really good underneath us it's just whether or not i can put it all together in the heat so there is a couple of tricky sections but definitely not one of the hardest tracks that we've been on all year all right here we go heat race for the night in the 250 category let's see if we can get to turn one first One. Oh my gosh, and I've been killed. <laughs> oh my god, the tough one's gone everywhere. Wow, that tough looks like an eighth place. We have to slow up through that first rhythm section, but I managed to get through it on the inside. Well, that was one of the craziest starts of the year. Ah, shit! Joseph, focus. Using that rear brake to turn the thing. God! Just got freaking driven into the well, to be honest, I did take a bit, a bit of a uh, <laughs> aggressive line there and just came up short. Come on, get back in that groove. Well, we're gonna have to fight for this one. update to this game midweek, but I'm not quite sure what they've updated. It feels all the same to me, to be honest. It looks all the same. I think they fixed the frame rate issue for the most part, where it would drop to like 10 frames per second on the start. Gotta go to the front. 
o'clock. Oh my lordy me, that just happened. I think the uh, tough clock made us go full retard. So, yeah, we had to come from behind to do that. That was not easy. That was not easy at all. As the second 250 heat race wraps up, let's take a quick look at the results and the names of the four riders who will be moving on to the main event. Alrighty, so we will now move on to the, well, I haven't done qualifying yet, but we'll see what he heat race we're in in the 450 category. And hopefully we can uh, get off to the night the same way we did in the 250. It's time now for the final 450 heat race. Four more riders will transfer out of this heat straight to the main event. You want to get one of those highly coveted transfer spots locked in now, so you don't have to race your way through the semi. Alrighty, here we go. First heat, well, sorry, second heat here in the 450 category at US Bank Stadium. Hopefully we can get a better start than what we did in the 250 heat race. So we did manage to put it on the pole once again, uh, this time by 1.5 seconds, so it's not quite as big a margin as we had in the 250 category, but uh, as has been the way over the last sort of couple races here on Monster Energy Supercross the official video game we do have a quite an edge over the AI which is once again uh, as I've said in the past set to the highest difficulty possible alrighty that's enough talk without any further ado we'll jump straight into this first heat race and hopefully we can march off into the distance start there or so we would have been right in the middle of that. Ah, come on. Yeah. 
Alright, stay on the track. Nice. Bag it and Dungy ahead of us. Dungy is actually well down in the mix, which is quite odd because I thought he would uh, get set to have like a ridiculously high level of skill compared to the other riders. Ah, oh, shit! What the fuck happened there? Nothing happened. Shall we continue? It's so hard to whip when you're racing sort of this view, or scrub, whatever you want to call it. Because, you, I mean, in real life, you can sort of feel the bike. Well, I, don't, I haven't done it, but I'd imagine you can, you can sort of feel the bike and the angle you've got on it. Whereas, on here, you can only sort of judge distance-wise based uh, on the camera that I've got set to. When you're, like, running the camera that most people run from behind, you can see the whole bike, you can sort of see where your bike is positioned versus the end of the jump, but it's quite hard to do it from this camera angle. Uh, Dungy is gone for six seconds. Absolutely gone. Yeah, I'm not going to bother whipping any more sure the scrub speeding games in time, but just a little bit keep screwing it up. So much time by skipping those tough ones. In real life, I could think you would land on your ass because the angle of the bike would be too great when you land. But <laughs> in here, you just sort of grips nicely and you just gain heaps of time. It's almost like a boost off of Mario Kart. Oh, that could be shout reward you for your unrealistic behaviour. Like that. Oh no, no, I didn't. Oh my god. Supercross equivalent of cutting the track. <laughs> Alright, so we didn't get the win, but we got second. Dungey seems to have some massive pace tonight. She didn't have last week, but that'll get us through to the main event, which is the main thing. Here are the final results for the second 450 race. The first four riders will have the opportunity to move on directly to the main event, while the rest of the field will be back on the track soon, battling it out in the semi. Alrighty, on to the main event. 
alongside us. Going straight for main event is Muskan and Bagger and Dungy, which is probably out of this field what you'd expect. Chad Reed down in 10th. He's been quite good the last couple of rounds, but anyway, on to the 250 main event now, where we will be starting from the pole. Hopefully we can get another win in that category. The mechanics are giving their riders a last bit of encouragement. A fresh set of goggles are now in place. The engines are set to come to life, and we are ready for another round of Monster Energy AMA Supercross and FIM World Championship. Hi, everybody. I'm Ralph Shaheen. Welcome to U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis, Minnesota. This should be a spectacular battle for the win. Here we go. Time for the main event. You can hear the cheer. He is the crowd favorite. Will that be too much pressure or the motivation for him to get the win? All right, once again, going with that Thor gate. Looks like gate number four in. Seemed to almost get us the whole shot in the heat race for the 250s, but unfortunately we got driven over. So, or ridden over, I should say. So hopefully that doesn't happen this time around and we can just get away to a nice, easy win. We do have the pace. We managed to come from behind to win in the heat race. So, without any further ado, it is main event time here tonight in Minneapolis. Well, let's get this thing done. Last time I broke. Oh wow. Well, that was a nice attempt. Yeah, last time I broke early for that um, that turn one and I thought, screw it, this time I'm just gonna fill up a flat stick and someone else can die. <laughs> and sure enough, that's what happened. But good run through the book, uh, through the first rhythm section. just like that. Stuck on that sort of narrow line with that. I don't even know what that is, like a bridge or something. Like, uh, structure of metal or something or other, other, other. <laughs> I'm so not with it tonight. Oh, it's the whole shot sign. Right. I say I go to turn, sort of turn two, and there's a fucking big metal bar in the way. <laughs> but, we have grabbed the lead, now we just have to focus ahead. Once again, uh, this is on the hardest difficulty, so those that are wondering why it seems so relatively easy. Oh, that's not easy. Those are wondering why this is so easy and why we're pulling away so much. Is that, well, this is the hardest difficulty that it's said to. Ah. So much grip, it just keeps pricking, like picking the front wheel up, and I can't steer it. It's almost like there's so much grip on this track that I actually have to throw control to control the wheelie instead of actually like wheel spin like you usually do. <laughs> nice. Gosh, this. 
straight, we're gonna end up lapping him again. Ah, not doing that, we're not. Oh, right, right. oh you, well, you could just see that. night ride around Minneapolis. playing Mario Kart and I've just put a heap of tough blocks on the, on the track for the guys behind me. Oh, so Zach Osborne's actually got a massive lead over second and we've got a 
Another that win in the 250 the category. That was one of the most impressive races we have seen in a while. The final results <laughs> show us how the 250 riders crossed the line. So Zach Osborne comes in second, Alex Martin third, Savashi four, Smith fifth. So Osborne actually had a 22 second lead or 21 and a half second lead over third, and we had a 14 second over uh, second advantage over him. So. The two of us just managed to break away in fine form today. All right, on to the 450 main event. The mechanics are giving their riders a last bit of encouragement. A fresh set of goggles are now in place. The engines are set to come to life, and we are ready for another round of Monster Energy AMA Supercross and FIM World Championship. Hi, everybody. I'm Ralph Shaheen. Welcome to U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis, Minnesota. This should be a spectacular battle for the win. Here we go. Time for the main event. He has the speed and the style that makes him a fan favorite. Alrighty, going with that sort of Thor gate again, hopefully we can get it right like what we did in the 250 main event. So we are starting off with, well, we technically pull up third going into this main event as we, actually no, fourth, yeah, no, third, yeah, because Dungey won his heat race, Roxon won his, and we managed second alongside Sealy for the grid. Alright, anyway, that's enough talk, main event time here in Minneapolis. Let's see if we can extend our championship lead. Get ready. The gate is about to drop. Here we go. All 
Alrighty, here we go. Whole shot time. She just went underneath Millsap. <laughs> that was awesome. We should have got a screenshot of that.
Ciao se tutto Oh my god, just fucking leave me alone. <laughs> just trying to catch Dungeon every time I get stuck with this. Stop fucking up, Joseph, you idiot! Stuck with Millsaps for like the first six laps, epic. and then the adrenaline was pumping with the riders, <sighs> and the fans were on their feet the whole race. While we catch our breath, let's check the final results. I mean, we got wrecked by Dungey once, but 
to be honest, the second time I should have just passed him and gone off instead I screwed up. Just way too many mistakes in that main event, but we still get a third, which is a good sort of points tally for the weekend. Those three rode the wheels off the their night, machine. I should say. We have a tremendous championship fight brewing. All right, so 10 points is the gap to Dungy now. Roxon manages to get up to fourth with tonight's win. Yeah, we definitely have a long road ahead of us as we move into the latter part of this sort of championship. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed tonight's sort of racing. I know it was a little bit lackluster from my point, or from my end. Made way too many mistakes tonight, but... For the most part it was really fun so looking forward to next week i'm not quite sure where we are next week but anyway wherever we are hopefully it should be just as interesting and crazy and fun but hopefully not as bs as tonight <laughs> all right guys thanks for tuning in and until next time i'll catch you later